Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial video I will show you how to use your keyboard to control the drone camera in Microsoft Light Simulator. I will also show you how to create custom views for your favorite aircraft. Microsoft Flight Simulator offers three camera modes, the cockpit, external, and showcase. You can access the different modes of the camera using the camera option from the toolbar. As you can see, we have the cockpit, external, and showcase. You can toggle between the three different modes of the camera system using your keyboard. The end button on your keyboard will toggle between the cockpit and external view, external view, and cockpit view. The insert button will toggle between the showcase mode and the cockpit mode. Now that we understand how to toggle between the different camera modes, let's enable the drone camera by hitting the insert button on your keyboard. Once you are in drone mode by hitting the insert button, you are free to roam the world in any direction, independent of the aircraft position. Let me first begin by resetting the view of the drone camera by hitting 5 on the numpad. Hitting number 5 on the numpad will always reset the drone camera position to be exactly behind the aircraft. To translate the view forward and backward, we're going to use keyboard buttons W and S. As you can see, we are able to translate forward and backward. In order to translate to the left and right, we're going to use keyboard buttons A and D respectively. A translates to the left and D translates to the right. Now, the four movements that we've just learned are translating forward by hitting the W button, translating backwards hitting the S button, translating to the left with the A button, and translating right with the D button. In order to perform a rotation yaw, we'll use numpads 4 and 6. That's number 6, and that's number 4. As you can see, this is a rotation yaw to both the left and right. If you want to perform a rotation pitch, you can use numpads 2 and 8. 2 and 8. As you can see now, we can rotate the pitch upwards and downwards. To perform a rotation roll, we use numpads 7 and 9. Numpad 7, Numpad 9. To reset the view back again to the back of the aircraft, we hit Numpad 5. In order to reset the roll and pitch, hit the space bar on your keyboard. You might want to increase or decrease the translation speed, and to do so, we're going to use the buttons F5 and F6, respectively. F5 is going to decrease the translation speed. As you can see, we have completely stopped. To increase the translation speed, we hit and hold the F6 button. As you can see, the translation speed has now increased. If you want to reset the translation speed, you can always hit numpad 5 to reset everything back again to default. In order to change the rotation speed, we use the commands F7 and F8, like so, F7, and now the rotation has completely stopped, or F8, and now we can increase the rotation speed. Again, we're going to hit numpad 5 to reset the view and the speeds. In order to zoom in and out in drone camera mode, you can use numpad plus and numpad minus to zoom in and out. Numpad plus, numpad minus. You can also use your keyboard tab button to toggle between attached mode where the drone flies with the plane or unattached mode where it can go its own separate way. 
Please do note that before on attaching the drone, it might be a good idea to pause the airplane first via the pause key. The drone camera, by default, roams freely in the world irrespective of the aircraft position. There is a nice feature in the drone camera to attach it to the aircraft as a target. To achieve this, we hit on Control Tab. When enabled, you will notice that no matter where you move the view, it will remain focused on the aircraft. As you can see, I'm now using the W key or if you use the S key, or whether you move downwards or upwards, the view will remain always looking at the aircraft. To unattach the target, you can hit on Control Tab again, and you are back in the free roam. What you might have noticed is that aircraft controls are disabled in drone camera mode. To enable them again, you simply hit the C button on your keyboard. The C button will enable or disable control of the airplane while in drone camera mode. You can try this in your next flight. Now that we've learned how to control the drone camera in Microsoft Flight Simulator, let's learn how to create custom views for your favorite aircraft. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we are in cockpit mode. We are now in the cockpit of the Airbus A320. We are going to be creating a few custom views, but first there are a couple of assignments that are essential for a successful completion of this tutorial. Let's go ahead and take a look. First, we're going to hit on the Escape button. We're going to select Controls Options. From the Controls Options, I have my Alpha Flight Controls selected, where I have two mappings set to the flight controls. I'm going to go to Search by Input and I'm going to move the button. As you can see, I have the Translate Cockpit View Forward to Joystick Button 6. It doesn't have to be to this joystick button. You can map it to anything you like, but you need something to translate the Cockpit View Forward and Backward. If I click here on Back, Search by Input, as you can see here, I have Translate Cockpit View Backward. So the two controls you need in the cockpit camera are the Translate Cockpit View Forward and Backward for a successful completion of this tutorial. All right, let's head back to the cockpit. You can use your mouse to move in almost any direction except moving forward and backward, which you need the translation forward and backward assignment. As you can see now, I can move forward and backward as well. All right, let's go in and set up the custom views. If you have your keyboard set on the default mappings, you will need to hit Control, Alt, and any number from 1 to 0 on your keyboard to make an assignment. Let's go ahead and take an example. Let's say that we want to set up the view here on the first officer's side. I'm going to go Alt, Control, and number 3. Now, this view has been saved. In order to retrieve it, we need to hit on Alt and number 3. To reset the view at any time, hit Control Space and you'll be taken back to the default cockpit view. Now I'm going to use Alt and 3. And as you can see, it puts me back exactly where I have saved my first custom view to position number 3. Let's try another one. I'm going to use the mouse to rotate to the back and we're going to head over to the passenger cabin. From the passenger cabin, we're going to come here to this engine view, and I'm going to use my keyboard arrows to adjust the view here to the window. And now we're going to select, this looks like a nice view, and now we're going to go Alt, Control, and 4. Now number 4 saves this position. To retrieve it, we're going to use Alt and 4. But first, let's go to Alt 3. This is Alt 3. And then we're going to go to Alt 4. And as you can see, it brings us exactly to the position uh, or the uh, view that we have saved in this position. Let's try one more time. I'm using the arrow key now to navigate through the aircraft. And this looks like a nice view. We're going to translate forward and use the keyboard arrows again to adjust the view. This looks like a nice view. And now we're going to hit Alt, Control, and 5. 
and now this position has been saved. To retrieve the position, we're going to use Alt-5 on the keyboard. First, let's reset the view. Now we are back at the cockpit, and now we're going to hit on Alt and 5. And as you can see now, it takes us to exactly the position that we have created with Alt, Control, and 5. Well, folks, this brings us to the conclusion of the drone camera and custom views tutorial for Microsoft Flight Simulator. As usual, if you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.